Greg Joseph now ready to get this one started, and we are underway from Minneapolis. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And, boys, he got the full package. Loves the game. Big-time arm. 4-4 speed. So good that another quarterback prospect said to him, what's it feel like to run 4-4? Everybody wants to be that fast. A man who led the league in yards per carry last year, it's Khalil Herbert. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Moore, the man in motion. Fields. Flushed out right. And some room to run now. And he'll get this to the 30 yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Now, whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. So, as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 30-yard line. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. Over the middle complete, it's Moore. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. On first and 10, it's Herbert. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. To throw his fields. Uh, he's got it. Touchdown, Bears! Travis Homer. 14-yard touchdown. And the Bears put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, we know he has decent hands out of the backfield. That's the first time, Charles, they've targeted him in the passing game, and it pays dividends. And I love the design, too, because they kept him in the backfield, made the defense think run first before they swung him out of there. And you're right, with his hands, they might want to throw it to him just a little bit more. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score send the kicking team out there and they will send this one away and he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line under center for the Vikings out comes the former Michigan State Spartan and longtime veteran Kirk Cousins not bad for a fourth round draft pick well over 100 career starts now and the chemistry with his top targets 
really on point. They spend a lot of time in practice and after practice making sure the routes are run well, and he knows exactly where they're going to be on the field. And when they get open, he delivers. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Running for the first time with a fullback, C.J. Ham. He'll get 15 and a Vikings first down. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Throw left side complete. That's Osborne. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 38. Now Cousins. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every round that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. Yeah, they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave them with a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expecting to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And that will line up just short. He had it on line. It ran out gas at the end and this will stay at a seven point game now listen now no kick from 50 plus is a gimme but here you're indoors in a dome you'd think ideal conditions yeah and it's one that he would expect himself to make not just us expecting him to make it over the years my theory is very simple the athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better check their backgrounds they were all county all state and other positions not just soccer players these guys expect themselves to be great as well. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 44. Here's Fields. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The linebacker Jordan Hicks flying in there for the sack. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. 